Hi everybody, I'm Matt. I'm David. And we're in space. Yeah. We just tried to hook up our girl Pavarti. Yes. Slow pan. Pavarti? Parvati? Parvati. Parvati. I don't remember how she said it. Pavarti! But I, I know we were saying it wrong the whole time. Yeah, it's Pavarti. Um, we were about, I think we already flew back to the planet. We needed to get a, uh, something, I forget what, to take yes. to the old lady. We were, uh, uh, investigate the Roseway, potential company secrets for the high, uh, uh, we were responding to a distress signal on the, oh, right. back where we, uh, came from. So, yeah, so if we look out the window, you know, it's where our journeys began all these many many videos ago so yeah so we're gonna go there and uh find some stuff yeah maybe we'll find out uh uh i think ellie and pervarti yeah i forgot we could bring two along um maybe we'll find out uh how you know a certain place is dealing without power no i think we're at a different part yeah. of the planet but maybe they'll have heard news maybe some unless people... they're all dead true maybe people migrated because they weren't looking too good when we did pass through. They didn't admit they didn't have power. Yeah. It was mostly the workers that were just, you know. I need a word. Pretend uh -oh. like everything Ellie is fine. Ellie needs a word. Oh, that's right. Ellie wanted to talk to us before we left the ship. This Roseway business. That's right. Smells. We did stop at a really bad time. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. And whoever or mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. got him mm -hmm. was waiting okay. for us. I believe you. I mean, that's a very uh, valid point. So what are you suggesting? Just a little caution. Could be a reason no one's picked up this job yet. Fair, fair. Yeah, that's smart. They don't give medical degrees to dummies, Captain. I mean... Anyway, well take a there, you're probably right. Get the jump on I, I don't know about space medical degrees. I want to say, considering uh, the type of slogans everybody's been using... Yeah, are you a spacer's choice doctor? Because that wouldn't be good. Oh, yeah. On to Cleo's. Better than nature. All right. So, yeah, let's actually look at the... Uh... He's just down the road. Yep. These maps aren't actually that big. We just take a long time to get there. Yeah, which is why everybody said like it's not a particularly long game because it's much more manageable sized maps. Yeah, so let's just head straight there and see what's up. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to play a bit faster than we did in the earlier videos, uh, just because we realized we took. Welcome. A long time in the tutorial area. I can't help it. If I see things that need a looting, I'm gonna loot it. But loot all you want. But I do now have guns that you know. And you have friends. Why are you moving? I think it's just spazzing out. That's what it wants us to think. I mean, it's a loader. It's not unarmed. That's why. It's on top of that giant death claw looking thing poor robot can't do its job this corpse is in the way it'll decompose at some point <laughs> yeah by the time the uh robots like completely lost functioning you don't know how long robots last in this game this game they could last forever that is true and yeah i got a really bad feeling about what's inside here what? Nah, I'm just trying to figure out what the hell that was. It was a box. No, the noise. Oh, I didn't put my headphones in. Oh, so you missed it. <laughs> yeah, I figured I wouldn't start the video going, Hi, everybody! You're, like, really loud. Gotcha. Figured I'd, I'd slowly ascend to, to my yelling. So end with hi, everybody. Just Look, louder than that. We've learned the Raptodon's colon. Yep. I mean, it's important to me that I know how these things poop. Of course. Like. It's actually, it's essentially just a big dog or cat. Yeah, just with big ass teeth and a spiked tail and. I meant internally. Oh, yeah. I mean, 
There's really only so many ways to arrange those type of body parts in a working order. It's science fiction, David. <laughs> Who says they need a kidney? I think their biology does. Well, I think you're limited in your imaginary biological views. Who's that man touching the thing? I don't know. I'm inspecting its colon. Oh, the town's still alive. Yeah. I guess so. I don't had enough hey, good looking. Shit. He's kind of creepy. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Oh yeah, is that what they told you? Mm, can't fight no raps. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Fair, fair. So they're having problems with these big raptors? I guess so. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Um, forget I said anything about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, conveniently forget about the fact that you had him caged up. Wish they tasted like sissy pig. Them's good eating. Wait, so they're eating the raptors? Uh... Well, because he said they broke loose and attacked like the way I was like, does that mean y'all had him caged up? And he was like, forget I mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, the they were I was like, can them. you tell me anything else? He's like, I wish they taste like sissy pig. Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Interesting. Got me. I just do what I'm <clears> told. <throat> I was told not to do Sorry. such. I'll say <laughs> in a minute. So. Oh, before I forget, Anti Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Helcyon. Better than nature. Oh, so this is an Anti Cleos farm uh, colony. Yep. And he was told that they are not allowed to send distress signals. Interesting. So somebody else did. Yeah, he said the scientist that runs this place is. Hold up in the comm center, panicking. Which I assume... Oh, never mind. I got two different spots. Well, uh, comms is to your right. Yeah. It says it on the building. Yeah, I noticed right when I went to check the map. <laughs> so this is a Tumblr post. That says, okay, you have ten seconds to think of an RPG class that never existed before. Next guy says, ass eater. They eat the asses right off of people. Somebody else said, what the fuck? And he said... Hope he gave me ten seconds. There's a creepy ass picture of a guard standing there and a man lurking around the corner with a butcher's knife and a fork, looking at his ass. Oops. What do you think you're doing? And it says here y'all heard y'all talking RPG classes. <laughs> I mean, that's it's a little scary. Sorry to bother you. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, see, not actually. I was so distracted with your ass eater, I accidentally stole something. Damn it, David! Sorry. All right. So my reputation with Auntie Cleo's dropped a little bit. Well, yeah, you stole from her ten seconds after walking into her colony because you were thinking about eating ass. I can't help it. It wasn't something I was expecting to hear as I was walking through the door. You gotta be ready for any type of distractions. That's true. <sighs> Diversions. Yes, that's the wide world of space. Anything can happen. Pocket sand. Oh, God. Okay, so yeah, uh, if you come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Uh, so he was the one. Now, though, truth be told. I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. Mm -hmm. More often than not, seems I'm the only one who sees the opportunity here. A 
ticket to the good life once my research plays out. Byzantium. Recognition, money, proper facilities. No more uninspired dolts like my associates here. I don't trust him. I put in one of my earbuds I can hear again. I don't trust him. I mean, we want to progress this further. Yeah. So. And might you be the sort of person who's uh, not averse to risking your life if the pay were right? Pay better be right. Mm. Interestingly enough, since I think we last played this game, The Mandalorian came out, and then eight weeks later, it's done. Yeah, it's been a long time. Um, I kind of feel like a badass bounty hunter now. <laughs> I mean, we look like one. It's true. Oh, let's just persuade him. Yeah. That's how I got him to leave me alone about stealing. Nice. And then he walked away and I was able to just go talk to him like nothing happened. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. Oh, God. It's all about toothpaste. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? No. Yeah. <laughs> Only if you'd like me to punch you in the throat. Uh... While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. I don't think... <laughs> oh, I love the responses in this game. You can couch it however you like. It's still just toothpaste. Uh, diet toothpaste. <laughs> diet toothpaste. I mean, how would you make a diet toothpaste? No, did you not hear what he said? He said they found an additive in the digestive system of the raptodons that's the most effective appetite suppressant. No, I'm literally asking, how could you make diet toothpaste? Well, that's apparently how. You make a toothpaste that when you brush your teeth, it removes your appetite so you just don't eat. <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah. Yeah, just, I'll remove the crap and get your research. Yeah, let's just get this stuff. Yes. Let's get this bread or enzyme. Need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. Did we already Research steal that? Safe in my office. No. <laughs> we'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's You'd original. You'd be amazed by what I can miss. Jameson, he's in the old lab. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. <sighs> Yay, more missions. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well being uh, of I sent my protege over here, and then I forgot about him. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. I can't imagine why. Far too much paperwork. When you just send somebody somewhere and then forget about them. Hmm. What you gonna do, David? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. They're coming out with a Bad Boys 3. You not to my Did you see the trailer for this? Mm -mm. It looks really good. Ah, we'll have to watch the trailer for Bad Boys 3. <laughs> yeah, it looks it looks really good. It's interesting, because they've made a Bad Boys like every decade since the first one came out, and yet now they have a complete trilogy, and I think they're all going to be good. So it's going to be surprising. Jackass? Really want to call him one, but do I it, also... do it, do it. Call him a jackass. All right. Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. Mm, I'll take your word for it, but I don't believe you. 
Okay. So we got a few locations now. Uh, well, let's just keep going down the distress signal route, right? Yeah, but it's all part of a. Uh... Anton's research sounds like it would be valuable to Gladys. I think it. Uh... Yeah, so I got Jameson, and then there was one more. Yep, recover research data and a bunch of optional steps. But at least they're there in the thing. Yeah, I was just trying to see what mission they were all under, because it all just popped up along the side. Okay, so let's see, are those all nearby? Well, one's right there. I think that's just telling me to go outside. Yeah, you just gotta leave the town. Okay, so... I'll just sit at the bottom of the map, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. And then where is good old Jameson? Probably in that middle building. Yeah. Just to go there first, yeah. save him, and then go to the bottom. Definitely starting with Jameson. Come, girls. Get away from that jackass. Uh, they're ladies, David. I mean, we're all ladies. Don't you remember? That took me a second to, to realize what you meant. You are correct. We are all ladies. <laughs> Ventilation shaft runs from the bottom of the lab to the top of the hill, over the garage. So don't go to Raptodon territory, except we're gonna. Yep. They keep showing us this mantisaur. I'm just waiting for it to come after us. Now where, again, where is its butthole? I imagine probably somewhere down on the bottom. I'm thinking it's number seven up at the top at the end of the tail because there's a long, what looks like intestinal track. Mm, that is possible. So I think it's right there on number seven at the butt of the tail is where its butt is. Yeah, I hope it doesn't shoot it at you when you fight it. God, it really was a slaughter around this place. Did you not notice when we came in? No. I thought I went out a different door. Ooh, oh, elite troop armor. Is that better than what you're wearing? Oh, yeah, this is a different door. So, yeah, it's just on all sides. Uh, let's see. Elite troop armor. 26 versus 18. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. It looks the exact same. It's just better. It's different color. It's all dark. What benefits did you get from it? Uh, armor type heavy, block 5, stealth skills minus 5. But that's what I think what we had last time. Oh, it was dodge last time, but still minus the 5 stealth. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's not like I've really stealthed so far in this game. You don't dodge too much either. That's because it's so awkward that it's a double tap. It's double jump away. Yeah, I'm... Now that we're I mean, when I'm in a fight, like a real fight, fist fight, <laughs> I always double jump and <laughs> then zoom five feet away. That's how I get away from cougars. Uh, that's silly me. Now, now that we're playing it consistently today, um, after this... Here's a machine to your... Oh, that's a man? Looks like a great spot for an ambush. Oh, mechanical sentry. You see nothing. Okay. Yeah, so it was... Uh... Yeah, it's that one. Uh... Anybody else going to come out the woodwork? You'll never know until you shoot the sentry. Probably should have reloaded first. Don't forget you can slow down time. Oh god, out of ammo. No, wrong button. Shotgun! Shotgun! Oh, that's right, there's a laser gun. Yeah! I see you, Red Arrow. Oh, god, the ladies are on it. Uh, well, yeah, they're murderous. Oh, Ellie's dead. Damn it, Ellie. This is your first mission. She's a doctor! Damn it, David, she's a doctor, not a scientist warrior. Well, she wanted to come along. Yeah, so... Give her a moment, and she's okay. <sighs> if only I could do that. Search the pile of ash that seems to have two items that survived. Yeah, they flew off before it turned to dust. Duh. Sure, keep telling yourself that. 
as opposed to a failure of internal game logic. <laughs> Isn't that how it's always been in these type of games? I can't say anything. I love playing Elder Scrolls, and they got bad game logic. Yep, same thing with Fallout. You turn somebody to a pile of dust, and yet <laughs> there's still very useful items inside. Yeah. You're not wrong. The fabulous Fraser Bros of the Hammersmith Thunder. They're like... They look eight. They really... Syrian Fraser and Cameron Fraser. Hammersmith invites you to come see the greatest toss balls... Toss ball backs of all... What is a toss ball? Oh, it's like lacrosse. It's like shitty lacrosse. Yeah, because, you know, they can't just use real sports. They're in space now. they got to make them up. Well, obviously, David. And apparently get children the... In reality, it turns Someone out they're like 50. It just makes me... It, it could be 50. It just makes me think of... Um, uh, Archer. How he always talks about his lacrosse days in college. Or, not college, in school. Barrel. So it's gonna be a whole building of robots, huh? Yay! A little bit of heavy ammo. <laughs> I don't know why that's in my head. I don't either, but hey, it happens. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Suck it, treasure. Fine. More dead scientists. It's almost like trying to keep caged animals usually backfires at some point. What? No. I'm sure there's not an entire film franchise about a Jurassic area of monsters that did this. Oh, God. Here they come. Uh, speaking of a uh, freed... Oh, no. The robot took it down. Yep, doing just fine. Ooh. Doing just fine. 1,700 experience just for that one robot. I mean, hey. I don't actually know how much I need to level up, so it might be, like, basically nothing, but... <laughs> I think it's in your inventory screen. I know. I just hadn't actually felt like checking. You're halfway. Yeah, like, I don't think it actually... It's that bar under your... Stamina. Yeah, I just didn't think they actually gave you, like, a number value. Oh, uh, yeah, they probably didn't. So it's hard to say if, like, 1700 is actually a lot, or if it's, like, a little sliver. Let's back outside. We got raptors! Sneak up on me, Raptor. Dissolve into nothing but a pile of ash. Yep, more of these uh, spastastic Auntie Cleo signs. Spastastic Auntie Cleo! Pick up security blade. Oh, gotta be something to loot in here. Besides just a bottle of fizzy tea. 
I like tea. I hate tea, actually. Tea is disgusting. But do you like fizzy tea? I like fizzy drinks. So this is the interesting thing. So whenever I give up soda, I jump back on to seltzer water real quick. Because mm. I really like seltzer water. And it's mostly because I like the bubbles. I'm a big fan of seltzer, of just like carbonation. I like that you lockpicked it as opposed to trying to find the card key. Yeah. Either way, though. I, um... I, I drink for the carbonation. I like the carbonation. I fucking hate tea. <laughs> Everybody's like, seltzer water's disgusting. I love tea. Tea is so horribly bitter and gross. And I know people are going to come at me and say sweet tea. Look, we live in the South. I know. Sweet tea. Sure. But... No, man. Sweet tea. All tea is gross. It's just leaf water, and it's horrible. How the... Wait, I know you. You're responsible for uh -oh. the Emerald Vale fiasco. How the hell did you get in here? They know me. Oh, they do know you. <laughs> that sounds like you. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> no, not... I don't care about the beasts. I care about the front door. This is an egregious breach of protocol. How'd you get in? I just told you. I shot some things. I walked up the door. You know, there was a little bit more shooting once I came <laughs> through the front door. Damnable beasts. At least I'm not trapped here anymore. I'll see you back at town. Yeah, like, are you really complaining about the fact that... I just set you free. And the truth! If I had followed protocol, you'd just be in here till you died, because nobody else is coming for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Hundred by thirty. Damn it. I could try to make that. Sorry. Are you trying to figure out the castle? I was trying, so I'm running a Strahd campaign, and I was trying to figure out if I had enough Dwarven Forge tiles to make what I needed mm. uh, for when you go to the final battle against Strahd, and I think I do. I will have to play with it. Um, worst case, I have two options. My two options are either to make the room slightly smaller or to order the diagonal set. Hmm. Or you just use a different scale. Well, that's what I mean, make the room slightly smaller. Well, I just mean like, uh... Oh, like make it so that each step is ten feet as opposed... Yeah, it's not wrong. You're yeah. not wrong. I could do that. Mm. Ooh. Flamethrower. It's an energy weapon. 480 DPS compared to what's your other? 71 DPS? 52 to 118 damage, but it's 34 damage. But it must damage them faster for the DPS is higher. Yeah. It also might just burn through. Damn it. I forgot about the. Uh... Uh... Oh, right. You can't. You have to back out. You never use melee weapons. Just don't even bother with loading one. Yeah. Alright. I'm not going to test it out yet, because I have a feeling it probably burns through some ammo. <laughs> probably. Whereas at least my charge shot is just kind of a directed blast. Right, but right. I'm sure it'll come in handy. From a crane. Uh, Porter, according to my records, January 23rd is your birthday. As is protocol, please feel free to enjoy one 10-minute break between your normally scheduled 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock <laughs> patrol shifts. I sincerely hope that on this day you take a moment to enjoy the fresh air of Terra 2, brought to you by thorough kindness of Aunt Cleo. With regards, Dr. Crane. Yep, enjoy that 10-minute birthday break. Man, I hate this capitalist hellscape that we find ourselves in. Yep. And this capitalist hellscape in the game. Yep. Agreed on both accounts. 
experiment notes. Uh, determine the amount of rapid digestive acid that will be that, can, that we can eat safely. Slowly introduce the amounts of digestive acid into evening meals of randomly selected co-workers <laughs> and, and observe their health. <laughs> Minor stomach uh, pain and nausea. So, milliliter. Extreme milliliter. nausea. <laughs> Major stomach pain. Del so, five milliliters kills you. Four gives you temporary blindness, frequent vomiting, and the patient was unable to describe pain. It was unsafe. Three is probably unsafe. Yeah, major stomach pain and debilitating nausea and vomiting. Potentially unsafe in the workplace. But hey, minor stomach pain and extreme nausea, perfectly fine. That's just dumb. Dumb to dumb dumb dumb. Oh, Put a big bin right in front of me and have nothing in it. I mean, I mean, that's a lot of people's storage closets. Yeah. All right. Let's. So, what are we looking for now in here? Uh, I think that's actually it. I just noticed that was one last room that I. Uh... All right. Well then, deuces. Yeah. So now it's just kind of meeting him back there, so I can kind of just talk to them. Yeah. So, the doom that came to Roseway. Let's get this done. Yep. So, I can just keep going, and then I can come back. Yep. So, he's pissed off, but otherwise fine. So, I can go back to give Anton the good news. Uh, so, yeah. So, the... so you're going to want to save, because we're going to have to kill two sets of groups. Yeah, that is true. I haven't saved yet. And while the game does auto-save... Yeah... Still good to have that actual save. Yes. So, we got to eliminate the outlaws and deal with the raptodons. Let's do this. Yep. So, the secret lab is under attack by a band of outlaws, and they're loose in the underground facility. Time to murder our way forward. That doesn't sound like a movie. <laughs> the raptodons are loose in the underground facility. The raptodons are loose! Fox windows. Uh. <sighs> you got this, David. I do. Sorry, I just I have to take moments to just enjoy the world. Just enjoy it a smidge. Yeah, it's it's just beautiful to look at. It is, but don't get distracted. Focus on your goal. You need Sorry. diet toothpaste! Sorry. Oh, God. That just makes me think, remember that episode of The Simpsons where they had toothpaste that had sugar in it? Which is just a terrible idea. <laughs> kind of defeat. Is that another allusion to The Simpsons in this game? It very well could be. They said there was a few. Run, David, run! No! I was shaking off my, uh... Dizziness from stepping on a landmine. <laughs> and you'll be fine. You're a video game protagonist. Ooh, a music box. Jump on the crate and then jump up. Will it not let you go that way? Nope. Seems to be an invisible wall pushing me back down. Stupid invisible walls. Can you jump over those? Wow, that's dumb, game developers. Hey, look, it's outlaws. You gonna snipe him? Or... can test this back. Maybe find out if they're evil first. Yeah. Oh, yep, they're evil. That's an <laughs> outlaw sniper. Yeah, there's a couple people. Do, 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 do. Don't hear. Ow. You're fine. 
God, don't... Everybody's fine. Y'all are really worrying me with those screams. <laughs> I'm like, your health is fine, but man, did y'all, uh... That's a big mechanical droid. I'm just saying. Yeah. You probably, David, hear me out. Mm -hmm. Shoot the barrels next to the mechanical droid. That is a good call. I don't know if it'll, uh... Do it. Keep shooting. Oh, God! I should have known it had something. I mean, you took half its health off. Kill it! Nope. Damn it. Slow down time. Time after time. I just want to blow up that robot fucker Time after time Oh wow, Pavardi! Right, take a breather, take a breather, loot yeah. the bodies That one uh... Really took a toll on us I need some more heavy ammo. Yeah, but look at all that light ammo you got. Yeah. Look, there's 30 heavy heavy right there. And energy cells. Yeah. Plenty of energy. Plenty of light. Damn it. Man, I love collision walls. As we learned in Star Wars Jedi. Fallen <laughs> Order. <laughs> yeah. I really thought I was going to be the... Just this isn't Skyrim, David. Ugh. There you go. I was like, but there was more bodies up here to loot. I don't well, you know. You should have thought of that before you jumped down. Sorry. I saw a mild cliff. I thought I could get back up. This isn't Skyrim. You can't just horse your way up a mountain. Mysterious doors are the fuck. Oh, yeah? Sure, let's do this. Hold on. You see a chest? I think so. Or it's just, nope, just part of the, uh... Okay. Alright. Go in the hole. Let's uh, save real quick. Ah, my head itches. Alright, so let's do this. Yeah. We gotta do this for Auntie Cleo. She's her favorite aunt. Alright. To the covert. Where's its butt? Its butthole is at the end of its tail. It's the Manta Pillar. So it grows up the bee. <laughs> that thing's actually more creepy than the big murder one. Yeah. Like, that's like the sci fi creature you expect to claw under your skin. Yep. Not into it. With its tiny little stumpy legs and its baby face. And its fangs. Not a fan. And its peeled back skin showing you its insides. I am not a fan. No, not at all. Alright, y'all got your health back? Let's go. Is that a poop joke? I think it sure is. Thankfully, uh, this is not the advanced type of game that you can smell. Yeah, we're not at we're not at that level of 4K yet. Yep. <laughs> Give it time. Go. Oh God! One came around the corner. Thankfully, this is the. Nope, that's the mall one. I was about to say, thankfully the other one were the stalkers and not the, uh... Yeah, but a shot to his face really... Really did that damage. Yeah. Got him real good with that shot to the face. Yeah, most things generally don't like being shot to the face. That's true. I'll give you that. At least I would assume. I mean, they're usually not around to ask them afterwards if they enjoyed it. So, kind of have to make some assumptions. Yeah. Another music box. 
Yeah, why are we finding all these, like, music boxes? People like music boxes. I feel like music in this day and age would not be pleasant. Yes? Auntie Cleo's raptor raptigon is guaranteed to render even the largest raptodon unconscious for no less than six hours and has a refreshing antiseptic scent. Should a method for gas dispersal be found, the canister may prove very useful. Cool, we can gas the dinosaurs. Yep, he said not to kill the mother because they need it. I mean, what if I want to kill her? Then I think we'll be screwing over another town. Which Fuck is yeah! Kind of what I'm hoping we get to do, because. You just want to fuck over Halcyon? Yeah, they all just haven't really won me over. Uh, so. I guess I didn't really have any junk. Time out that time. You do have a lot of weapons you can sell. Yeah. Or should I break them down? That's your call, David. Well, the controller died. It did try to warn us. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you all are having a wonderful day as we jump back into this Outer Worlds adventure. In the comments, tell us, would you try diet toothpaste? <laughs> I'm not sure I would. No. Like how, uh... How yeah, it seems, uh... How strong is that urge to, uh... Or is that suppressant where it doesn't? Yeah. Okay. Like, I'll try a couple of flavors of toothpaste, but I will not try that. Speaking <laughs> of, when I was a kid, when I went to the dentist, they always tried to give you different flavors of fluoride. Mm -hmm. It was weird to me that bubble gum was always the most, like, like, why? People... Artificial bubble gum tastes like shit. Yeah, but people seem to like the taste of it. It's weird. Here, we're going to clean your teeth. Have this fake sugary treat. Yeah. Yeah, diet toothpaste with sugar would work. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I think we can give you some armor now. You want to give her the armor we had before? Yeah, I think that's the best option. Yeah, now you're ready to adventure. Uh, Just make sure we don't screw her skills over. Yeah. Engineering 15, but minus one perception. Uh, science. Lockpick. I'd say science or lockpick would be good, because we don't really have a high engineering anyway. Yeah. Also, Persuade 5 is always nice, because that would up our Persuade a bit. True. Alright. And I think you're pretty good on gun. At least for now. Yeah. That's her original overalls, too. We haven't given her armor. Wait, did I just... I thought we did. I don't think we did. Huh. I think we gave it to the to the priest. Well, that's dumb. Stealth skills, up five. Tech skills. Are there any of those better? Four. I got nine. Okay. We gave her a helmet. That's what we gave her. Yeah. Well, damn. You gonna look to buy her some armor? You know it. 
Got to keep my girl safe. Even if they can't die. So we got 14, sneak plus 7. 22 with dodge. Yeah, but it's dodge. And, stealth, and 6. Yeah, none of those are good because you're losing out on tech skills. Yeah. Damn you, Auntie Cleo. Damn you, Auntie Cleo. Okay, I was going to, uh, can I just break it down from here? I don't remember. Yes, I can. So, uh, and I believe we tested it out to see that these didn't sell for anything really more than what the regular ones did, right? Yeah, they don't. Yeah, so we'll just go ahead and... Weapon parts! Yay, all the weapon parts! I mean, I know there... So I know there are people who kind of do this already, where they break stuff down and they take the part, you know, they scavenge a mm -hmm. bit. RPGs make it seem like it's far more people than actually it is. You know, if, if it was like in an RPG, people would be like, oh, my PlayStation isn't working. Let me get a new one and I'm going to scavenge the parts out of it. Yeah. You know, it's interesting how much they recycle in these types of games. And yet they always have like, well, the recycling plant doesn't work and everything's shit. We just throw it all in a giant trash pile. But make sure you scavenge your weapon parts. Yeah. They're like so big on recycling one aspect and then they don't do the rest. You gonna keep that just in case, or? Yeah, I might just go ahead and give it up all of it. Do it. Maybe keep the goggles. Yeah, I was gonna keep her goggles. All right. Uh... Cool. So apparently, getting better medical helps with. Consumable slots? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, okay, so we got the canister. So we got the outlaws over there. And there's the data. That's where you came in, isn't it? No, it's not. Never mind. Hi, sniper. He doesn't see you. Shoot him. Remember, sneak damage. True, but I also really just want to get an idea of how quickly this will mow somebody down and just how much ammo it wastes. You hear nothing coming. Nothing of your burning death. Down they go. It's pretty quick. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, uh... It does burn through ammo a little bit, but still. Of course, it's pretty quick. Of course, he's also just a regular, uh, guy. Yeah, you should have tried on a robot like you wanted to. And yeah. then I talked you out of it. But I also figure it'll work a lot better against people than... I feel like energy weapons tend to work better against fleshy people. Yeah. Robots are much more, uh... You know. See, look how quick that was. Yeah. He killed the candid and the guy. All in one quick burst. Hey, look, it's another bottle of, uh... Sure. I'll, Go juice. I'll take two just in case. Uh, Massages from Ar Argarwal. Hans. Hans, I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is that we have a spread problem. Thanks to the little monsters chewing on our wires, our ventilation system is temporarily offline. If your raptid dons are cranky, you'll need to sedate them manually. Bring a few canisters of sedative and hook it up to the auxiliary terminal in the main research chamber. The good news is that my Hephaestus hammers clobbered your precious Rizzo Rangers. <laughs> Would you care for some Auntie Cleo's tropical pasta sauce with your humble pie? What? Oh, oh. They even have to promote the business in their burns. Hans! Hans! Please explain 
the unmitigated disaster I'm currently holding in my hand. I have here a form approving the relocation of a raptodon mother to the main hall. A form signed by you! First of all, the structural integrity of our raptodon tanks are not nearly sufficient to contain an enraged raptodon mother. Secondly, raptodons are notoriously territorial and extremely protective of their young. Please stop me if I'm using too many numbers for you. He used two numbers. Apparently that's too many. I know you have a problem with basic arithmetic, seeing how you don't seem to realize that Raptodon Mother plus Raptodon Tank equal murder. Who said anything about murder? Respectfully yours, Gail. Well, okay. Sure. Yep. Totally equals murder. Totally does. That math checks out. You know it. Uh, deal with the raptodons. Ah, so I've killed three out of twelve. Ah, I see. And you found a canister of sedative. Three should be sufficient, so I need one more. Uno mas, uno mas, or we can just kill them all. True. Um. I mean, I vote for murder. Yeah. So yeah, he'd prefer us to use it, particularly on the mother, but we can just kill them, which I have been doing so far. <sighs> murder, murder, murder. Because I didn't realize they were actually giving me a counter and everything. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, deal with the uh, outlaws still. Let's murder the raptid dons. Murder them. Well. Well, that's not good. I mean, see, look, they still have some that'll live. So just murder them. Oh, look at how big she is. There she is, David. Wow. Not going in there, are we? Just murder her. Alright. Fuck Auntie Cleo's, man. Fuck all the board. Just remember, this was your decision. Mine? Yep. To be fair, I wanted that. Right? Wow, yeah, totally keep that for organics. Yeah. Save it for organic bosses, don't just use it on little bitches. Yeah. I'm about to switch off of it. Just had to give it a good test run to really see what it's capable of. Now hopefully we can lie and <laughs> say she was already dead when we got there. See what I'm saying? Oh, it was blending in with the... Because hopefully we'll have high enough charisma. Yeah. To just tell him, yeah, no, she was already dead when we got there. I don't know what happened. What about the burdens on her? But I, I, they're already there. Maybe you should talk to your scientist. I mean, uh, they uh, really uh, went to town in there. All right. All right. Well, that's one quest done, right? Uh, no, because uh. Oh, we actually have to kill them. Yeah, that's only six out of twelve. Well, there's another one right there. Jeez. Seven! Don't you spit at me. Ow, 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 ow. I don't know if I have anything to deal with this. It'll, it should go away soon, I hope. Yeah, probably. Uh, I have so many foods, but I don't know what anything does. Sell them all! Probably should, because I'm never actually going to use like any of it. I just sell it all. Yeah. Huh. Oh. And the other canister was over there. See, so yeah, you could have easily sedated them. Yeah. Very easily. Oh, well, she's dead now. Yeah. I mean, they got a... Uh... They got that guy. Yeah. He looks good. Kind of wish I could set them all free. I'm a little sad that's not an option. That's right, true, actually. Right back to town with a raptodon army. All right. Uh, are these the same? Yes. Yep. They are the exact same. So it was. Nope. That's just returning. So yep. Okay. Uh. 
My armpits itch. Nice. They itch so badly. Yeah, so that's the... You ever been in public and had your butt itch so bad and you know you can scratch it, but you really can't? Because <laughs> you're in public. Because you're in public? I think everybody has at one point in time in their life. So have you ever done that thing where you like stealthily rub your butt on something to try to <laughs> scratch it? Hey, you know, like you. the door corner, or like you... Over here. You do that weird thing where you like slide across the wall and try to scratch your butt with it. Yeah, you do the like butt wiggle. <laughs> Pretty much the animal technique of uh. Yeah. Oh good, you're not shooting at me. That's a star. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. Why? I mean, it sounds like the colony needs diet toothpaste, but you want to try the second problem? See where that leads us? I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger come to rob me in my moment of weakness. I mean, you seem pretty strong Let's at the make moment. make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some money. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for your trouble. Uh, um, hmm. I mean, you're gonna have to make me a bet. If we get the money to get the pass, what's the difference? Yeah. And then Auntie Cleo doesn't get her diet toothpaste. Yep. So it's it's what you wanted, David. You wanted to fuck over Auntie Cleo. You mean other than the satisfaction of doing me a good turn? Trust me, I'll make it worth your while. How much money? I like how everybody says that, but I don't know you. I don't know what you... I don't know. My while is worth a lot. <laughs> I am good for my word. You will be equitably rewarded on my honor. But I will not haggle or bargain with you until you help me. So I guess we have to ask what you need. Yeah, you seem persistent. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door. But Cleo Security's bottled up in there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. Uh, the other way quite out capable the of talking. Way, but you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Oh, this is one of the cretins. Cretins. Uh, I see. I clearly wasn't fully paying attention to him when he was talking. <laughs> I'm going to need a good reason to risk my neck for you. Like money. Because Crane is a tool. Because no good deed goes unrewarded. Because doing me a good turn is the honorable and decent thing. Take your pick. I mean, if all those things are true... We're not easily manipulated, but I feel like you've got a deal. Yeah. Why do you think Anton is a tool? That's uh. a good one. I mean, we already know he's a tool. Then how is it the honorable thing? We are all of us trapped. Uh-huh. You, me, the scientists. This is not a colony. It is a slave camp. Oh, okay, she's our friend. Yes. Yep. She's we against the corporations. Shot some guards. Killed a few scientists in the crossfire. But it was all for a higher cause. If you say God... I'm very interested. I mean, number three is a cool thing, but it would kind of go against yeah, what we're doing, so... Doesn't seem to be anything to get her to... Because, I mean, they'll just rebuild, honestly. Yep. But fuck it! Take it to the man! The first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Alright. I expect you to pay me! Pay me for my troubles, cause I need some money. This money, is, money, money. This is true. Money, money. Money, money. Money, money. Nothing beyond the purview of a talented freelancer like you. I suppose. Persuade 25? Yeah. Pretty low. 
Stalk her way out. It's faster. You really expect me to just let them pass? Why? So they can regroup behind their walls and mount another assault? Yes. Never mind. I'm obviously in no position to argue with Yeah, what y'all do when I leave? I don't care. If you can care. talk those guards into standing down, my people will follow suit. Cool. Let's do this. Take your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere. Because you're locked away. I mean, I feel like you could climb through that. Oh, yeah, she 100% could. She is tiny. Like, that is a big hole. Hey, guys. So I assume you heard all that. We're going to screw over another town. Pavardi, I hope you're okay with this. <laughs> Ellie, I know you are. Yep. Uh... Try walking up to it? Because I think that's one of her men. Uh, makes sense. God, I got so many different... Well, if I open the map. Yeah. <laughs> which one is what? So that's so her. That's her. That's the canisters. Nope. Okay, well, either that one... Or the one closest to you is what you need. So just go to the one closest to you, quick. True. Uh, so yeah, one's clearly pointing to the, the Raptodons. Still got the Outlaws. Uh, Chief Porter's office where I can get the security card. So that's one. So to go, to yeah. go there, that might be the office. Yep, security console. Then you have to get in through the hallway. Yeah. There. You do not see me. If I don't look at you, you don't. Nope. Maybe upstairs. Yeah, maybe. Here they come! Nope. Stop shooting her! Wasn't... Shooting Ellie. I wasn't trying to, but she kept getting in my way. Sorry, Ellie. Taking a flaw is optional, but doing so provides you a perk. The choice is yours. Okay. Uh, having been hit in the head too many times, your mental faculties have been permanently affected. So your mind attributes go down by one. I don't like that because that might hurt our persuasiveness. Yeah. So let's reject that flaw. You got a secondary option. Why are they all so blurry? <laughs> Don't mind me, just hit in the head again. Damn it. Okay. Apparently, that's not the way. Uh, well, I guess there is a door down there. There is, but it was locked. At least it looked locked. Don't know about you, but this just makes me want to huh. get inside. Oh, you just even have to hack more. it. It ain't stealing if no one's. Also, sees. don't miss the hacking tool on the ground. Good call. Alrighty, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Officer Porter. Yay! We have a key card. Now we can get her out. Yay! We gotta see what's in the box. Always gotta see what's in the box. Ten mag picks. It was worth it. Yeah. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I like that lock picking almost essentially gets you uh, everything you need. Pretty much. I mean, every now and then it's not worthwhile, but pretty often it is. And finally, some more heavy ammo. Getting a lot of riot helmets. Alright, I'm back to at least a hundred. Hey. Hey, more heavy. Uh, I think for now I'll just stick with the pistol. Yeah, stick with the pistol. It's doing good for what I'm facing in this place. 
at least until big things show up. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and let her out. I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me. You're a little full of yourself, but here's the key card. Oh, I guess not yet? Okay, do I gotta take it somewhere? Maybe we gotta deal with the guards first. Maybe. Yeah, so let's go deal with the guards and get and then that'll finish this up. Uh, I see uh red arrows. Oh, they're down there. There's three. That'll get you almost all of them. I think other than two. Yeah. Calm down, dude. Ah! Die! It's because we're using a pistol. Alright, that's one down. Damn, it died right in there. Two down. Three. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I think you only have one left. Nice. Pretty sure. Uno mas, 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 and then you're done. Alright, oh, a little bit of meat. Alright. Does it actually tell me in this way to do with the... To unlock her door. So where do I... Try going downstairs from this side of it. Yeah. She'd be behind you. Got an elevator. <clears throat> so maybe that's oh, the, there's yep. the door. Finally. There we go. We just portray our killer, take the research, and then betray him, and don't give him the research. Yeah. I mean, we, we could. No, no, no. I've yeah. never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. Not yet. I figured that's what you were going to say. I'll be back. Oh, there's a red ticker on here. Ooh. There it is. Maybe he's on the other side of the wall? Yeah, it must be. Uh, what you doing, David? Just trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Oh yeah, that was just this room. That's the elevator. Yeah. Uh, so that was his office. That is... I have no idea. Uh, that was... The room behind you has something. But it's upstairs. Security. Security Raptodons. Security, security console. console. That's her. Right, so you need to go to the security. Yeah, because I think that'll be where... Uh... So you gotta go upstairs. You can technically go use that elevator in the other room. Yeah. Wrong way. I know. I was just making sure there wasn't a... Uh... There's so many bodies just everywhere. <laughs> Alright, elevator. Take me up. 
Take me up before you go go. I'm in an elevator like a yo yo. That's mine. A poison mine. Oh. Got a weird scythe. It's like ruby. I want it. There we go. Inferno scythe. Alright, so let's open the door. Two-handed melee. Any of y'all want to say? <laughs> uh, you can give it to Pavardi. Yeah, she does have her hammer. Hey guys! Hope you didn't hear all that shooting. We saw everything! He saw nothing. Yeah, let's pick that up and talk to them. Hi, man. You must think me a fool. I was watching on the security cameras. You got downright friendly with the outlaw leader. Security I cameras. I reckon we got nothing to say to each other. You best back yourself out of here. Nice and slow. But what if I were to lie to you? He's off the trigger. Hear me out. You got one minute. Starting now. Oh, or persuade. That's a good persuade. I'd go with that. Yeah. You convinced her to let us leave in peace. Listing the ills we've been done ain't exactly putting me in a mind to compromise. Me as a bit of stubborn one. Uh, uh maybe you did your job? Don't reckon the company's gonna nope. see it that way. They sure won't, but... Eh, hey, they are here. Don't know how much that'll help, but I appreciate it. I reckon I don't see any better solution. Fine, damn it. We'll pull out. Yay! Here, my key card. It'll get you access to the whole place. And then he gives us his key card? I don't think that's corporate policy. I know. I mean, sure. We'll take it. Sure, yeah, but I don't think that's corporate policy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to really give you a hard time over uh, everything, but hey, here you go. Have this, uh, have this key card. All right, Cassandra. You didn't say nothing about security cameras that they might see. There's still technically one. Yeah, so I got the one drafted on and then the outlaws. Well, no, she is the outlaws. So you don't want to kill the outlaws. Because if you kill the outlaws, you're betraying her. Is she the outlaws or is she just the third force? She's the outlaws. That's why the outlaw robot didn't attack you. Oh. Uh, okay. I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me. <laughs> you have to fend for yourself against the rats. Just in case it cost us anything, I'll go kill this last raptor. Yeah, Which but... was... <sighs> out there somewhere. I don't know. This place isn't well laid out. I think that's just pointing me uh, to the incubation chamber. Yeah, it's, it's, it's literally over there somewhere, but where? Uh... It's like upstairs, so you probably should have stayed upstairs and ran around upstairs. Maybe run around upstairs from here. Go back out the way you were. To your left. Out that way. To your left. To your left. It's not him. To your left. And upstairs, maybe? Come on, Raptor. Damn it. In the door? No, 
it's just a security. Take it out. Because it's a malfunctioning droid. Because if we take him out, it should be easier to find the Raptodons on, on, on the tracker, right? Yeah. He won't be popping up no more. Why is he so strong? Oh, I like that size. Well, we hit level 10. That's something. Yeah. Uh... All right, now I forget. What were we gonna, were we gonna bump all of our points into Persuade? I think so? Uh, Cause it'd at least get us to 80. Yeah, which gets us the human coward chance 10%. Yep. That or we were gonna bump it into Lie. Because our Persuade is already super high, but our Lie is not. Yeah. Actually, I think that might have been the... Uh, kind of get that caught up. Cool. Yeah. And we get a perk. Yay! So, uh, wind time dilation. Damn it, we're not alone. So, yeah. walk speed, sprint speed. Durability loss. We've been talking about that. Yep. Let's go ahead and do durability loss. Um, but we had the base armor, uh, vendors, carrying capacity, and recharge. I'd go carrying armor or armor. Yeah. Because uh... you use the time dilation, but not a lot. Not often enough that it makes a difference. Yeah. What are you doing? I was trying to see if there was like a, if it told you like how much you can actually currently carry. It's up at the top, 88 out of 120. Ah, okay. Uh, I think for now we'll go uh, armor or durability. I'd say durability. Okay. Yay. You have to apply it. Now we can start getting tier two. Now we can start getting tier two if we want when we level up again. Yep. Uh, okay. Threat generator. Or decrease the amount of threat. Uh, I thought, didn't we want to follow down in the. in here? Uh, Heal. Oh, yeah. Up, granted, because, yeah. Yep. Good call. And same there, because we wanted the... Yeah, because we wanted more mods. Yeah. Boom. Done. Level up. All right, so go forward. So there's a locked cage and some doors. So there's the front chamber. Yep, so we've wrapped back around out here. Yeah, so let's keep going in that hallway where we were just in. Because apparently we haven't explored out here. Yeah. Mmm. It's a small chest. Yeah, I doubt. I doubt any of these are good enough to warrant that. Oh, but you can hack to get in that room or something. Maybe. Or can you just pick the door? No, apparently I gotta. Hmm. Uh... Hmm. I don't know, David. What you gonna do? No. You gonna save to see if it's worth hacking? Yep. Makes sense. If not, then we'll just nope. Back out. If not, we'll just go back and tell her to fend for herself. I mean, we did most of the work. Also unlocked all the cells. Hey, nice. So yeah, was uh, it was worth it. You had a book. Well, and that one was empty, so I'm definitely glad I didn't waste it on that. What about to your left? Nope, that's still locked though. Big cartridge. All right, so nothing. 
Aren't oh. bit cartridges what you use to open doors? Uh, no, that's our uh, currency. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, it's not overly spectacular, but it's a little bit of stuff. Yeah, you're right. Unfortunately, uh, it does not. Nope. All right. <sighs> okay, so. The only other direction I could think is to go, when we go into that hallway where the office is, to go down in that area yeah. right there. Because I don't think we've gone in there. I don't think so either. If not, we'll just swing by the incubation room just to make sure there isn't like one surviving one we missed. And yeah, in there. And if not, then we'll... uh. Ooh. Don't know if it's any good, but it sounds good. <laughs> hey, you got a helmet. Uh, let's see. Because it said, uh, what? Advanced. It's heavy. Uh, so it's definitely better armor, but what's it give? It, it doesn't give you anything. Oh. It takes away the lockpick skill, though. Oh. Damn it. Yeah. I mean, it's your call. You do lockpick a lot. Yeah, we'll hold on to it regardless. Uh, that might be a... Okay. Does it actually... Just a block and stealth skill? Crap. Alright. Yeah, we'll hold on to it just in case there's something where we might need a little more defense. Yeah. And we're exploring every nook and cranny. Yep, just like we said we weren't going to do. But I can't help it. Try the blue door. Oh, another canister. Try the blue door. Mind if I grab a few souvenirs? Yeah, go ahead. How have we not found this fucking thing yet? Where are you, lizard dog? I know. That was one big ass machine gun. Orson, you assured me the new lash orange slashes are harmless without experience. Flu sit uh, okay, so he's sick. Um Automech parts. Con yeah. Okay. So yeah, just one of the people that unfortunately got the uh got the runs. Yep. The tested uh lunch. Okay. Uh why is there nothing here? I don't know. Ugh. Blah da da da. Alright, I'm just gonna run back to the incubation chamber, just poke my head in, and if not, Ugh. then that's just the end of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's just gonna direct me back to that. Uh huh. They're asleep. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Nothing. I somehow missed that though. And that was just those messages again. Alright, never mind. I figured I could find just one raptor, but apparently not. Nope. Alright. I mean, it's literally just one raptor. I think you can, uh... Let's talk to her. I think you can figure it out. I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obvious. Yes, yes, keep telling yourself that. For all we know, the raptodon's outside. Yeah. So you have. 
probably I'm that's what obliged. I was starting to think. <laughs> and now, if you do not mind, yes, I have had leave. quite enough of this. Leave. Place. You're not alone there. Give me my money. Money. Yeah. Good. I never trust a freelancer who works for free. That's it. All we got was a thousand. Orphans. Is that what you are calling yourself now? Yes. Here. Let it never be said that I do not reward good work. I mean, you could. I could. But then I imagine I'll be getting attacked by every outlaw in here. Yeah, let's just leave. Yeah. I hate this place. It's my least favorite level of the game. <laughs> Alright. This is horrible. Horrible! All for fucking toothpaste. The layout of this building makes no sense. I don't want it to be leading me back to Gladys. I want to, uh, yeah, go back. Why is this distress signal? Oh, it's return to Gladys. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, we could have taken the research and given it to Gladys. I'm all for that. You've dealt with the company Glass is talking about. You can return to her and inform her of what happened, or keep searching for more secrets. Oh, I guess you can just tell tell her what happened. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's get the fuck out of here. If we... You picked the wrong damn day. I don't know who's fighting out there, but... If we cross paths with this fucking lizard... Probably in the room next door. Probably. Terror on Monarch. Halcyon Helen? With Ruth Bellamy as... Spencer Woolrich as Chief of the Savages. Featuring real monsters from the doomed world. Twelve amazing episodes. Essentially, she's essentially Han Solo looking. Like, she's got the vest, she's got the belt. Yeah. It's actually one of the few advertisements that actually look worthwhile. Yeah. Fast travel? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you. Please. Please put me out of my misery. By going extra slow across oh the map. Oh my god, I will stab you! <laughs> <laughs> what? It doesn't actually go across the map that fast. It's a very slow-moving cursor. I like this game a lot, but it drags some stuff out. Prefabricated living, just like home. Taste the freedom. So you get a box, you pull up parts of the box, and you got a home. It's a home in a box. Home in a box. It's not as good as a dick in a box. No. And I'm also sure it's probably not that simple. I forgot about the load times of this game. Yeah. There's just thankfully entertaining things to... To distract you? Yep. That's how they get away with it. Because we're distracted by all the stupid slogans and advertisements. As opposed to just looking at a black screen. Hey dude, I got some, uh... Damn right we left the lab. What's left there that's worth dying for? You tell them, Portal. You let them get away. Worthless. The lot of you. Want me to kill him, Porter? What you pay for, don't you? I got news. Oh. It's you. Yep, it's me. As if my thoughts weren't dark enough already. What is it? Um. I start with Jameson. Found your associate. I didn't do right by him, did I? Only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. Yeah, just now realizing that, huh? You know, there's more to care about than plaque marks on your paperwork. Not here in this colony, there isn't. Outside Byzantium, life is worthless without meaning. I must get there. Weird. Goodbye. Right. 
Well, well we gotta do. We gotta let him know about the research. Yeah, I was like, that can't possibly be it. Oh, it's you. As if my thoughts weren't dark enough already. What is it? You're repeating yourself. Also, I let the re outlaws That's keep your research. All manner of distressing. There truly is nothing left for me. I suppose I'm. I'm Vin. Oh God! I feel like Auntie Cleo is gonna take him out behind the building and shoot him. Oh, persuade. Let's see what happens here. I, uh, I suppose you're correct. My life will just continue existence without meaning. Wow! Oh my God! Go for it, David. Go for it. You're right. And what's worse, I've always known it. But there's nothing to be done. This is the life I've lived. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. What's gonna happen next? Wow! Let's go with the haunting one. I feel like the middle one's bullying a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you need to just... That's a little disappointing. Alright, let's go talk to Auntie Cleo. Or not yeah. Auntie Cleo, Gladys. And uh, we'll do that, David, in the next episode. Alrighty. Bye, everybody. Bye!